everyone. I'm Ed Beige. I'm a Coastal Magnolia and I want to bring you a quick video today to show you how I'm going to recreate these wine glasses. These are wine glasses that I had displayed in my booth at a art and craft show a couple weeks ago and my good friend and neighbor came to um, came to visit me at my booth and she liked the glasses. She asked me to recreate these in a stemless version rather than a stemmed version. So I'm gonna recreate those today. I'm gonna make her a set of two and then I'm gonna make another set of two and um, just, you know, see what we come up with. I'm gonna be using the KS Resin Liquidy Split. It's the fast set per A and B and I am just about out so I need to place another order. So hope you enjoy this video and let's get started. All right, I've mixed up my resin. I'm mixing 60 milliliters. I think it's gonna be probably a little bit too much, but I can put them into, put the extra into a, um, let me stick off. Put the, re put the extra resin into a little turtle mold. I'm gonna be using uh, Tim Holtz Monsoon. Shake it up really well. Uh, Tim Holtz Glacier Alcohol Ink. Um, Pixis in Snow. I don't know if I have enough, honestly. And um, then Pinata Silver. Okay. So mix the silver up some more. So Tim Holtz Glacier, Tim Holtz Monsoon, Pixis Snow, and Pinata Silver. Okay. So I've got these all mixed up, except for the snow. Probably need to shake that a little bit more. I'm gonna put them all here. So the plan is to do um, a recreation of that wine glass um, in a stemless version. Okay, so I, the plan is to do four matching, but I may change my mind, I'm not sure. I do have my gloves on and I have my studio door open as well as the fan. So I do, I am blessed with a outside door in my studio, I love it. So I'm able to go outside and play in my garden if I want to, it's lovely. I don't tape my edge, but I know a lot of people do. I choose not to tape my edge, and that's just a personal preference. KS resin, um, all the KS resins are FDA compliant, so they are food safe when they're fully cured. just like to have kind of a um, you know not a straight edge at the top I don't know if that makes sense but um, you know it's not a hard edge it's just sort of fluid and organic yeah okay it's uneven I get that however most of what I create is um, you know, I live in, I live in coastal Florida, so I create a lot of things that are, you know, inspired by waves and the beach and the ocean. I live at the beach. It's going to be kind of a flowy edge. That's a tidbit there. So I do have some leftover resin and I'm probably going to pour that into a little turtle mold and we'll do that in just a second. Bubbles. A wooden base that I have. I found this at a thrift store and I think it's um, made for like a small TV or I don't know, microwave maybe. So it turns and it's perfect for my quad turner. All right, so 
I think that my snow is not snow. It's more like blue, but we're gonna use it anyway. So I'm gonna start with the glacier on this set. And I, because I'm trying to recreate the glasses that I did for my friend, or that my friend saw at my show booth. So I'm gonna try to recreate as close as I can to the glasses that she saw that I had in a stemmed version, but she wants them in a stemless version. I love how alcohol on resin creates those fractals, it's super cool. And now this is the monsoon. Always try to get the bottom there. I'm running out of both of these colors. So I need to go get some more. Oh man, what is going on with that? Nice. All right, let's use up the snow because I think this is the same. See, it's blue. What is going on? Well, All right, we're gonna make that work. And now the pinata silver. Mm. Oh shoot, that one really switched out there. Oh man, it's a little bit too much. A little bit too much. I'm gonna make it work. All right, heat gun. We have it on a high air and a low heat. And I'm gonna start swirling these inks. drop a little bit of this glacier on this massive glacier break up that silver I don't know what in the world happened there Th I like that um, one of my favorite things to do too is to turn off my turner arm and let the resin sort of drip down and it creates some really cool swirls and patterns. So I'm just gonna pulse it a few times, kind of like you would do a food processor. And I did get a drip there, but. All right, I'm gonna let that one go. I'm gonna flip this over and I, hmm, what am I gonna do here? <sighs> I'm gonna use up the snow because I am not 100% sure that, um, well, it's definitely not snow, but I'm, I wanna throw this bottle away. So I'm just gonna use it up and this is not gonna be a matching set by any means. I know that looks like a big old hot mess, but that bottle is going in the trash. And I don't think I want to do the silver. I think I want to use some Pixis Gold. I'm gonna take this part off. Pixis Gold. And I 
just absolutely love this color. I can't freaking get it open, but of course I made a mess. But I have my new apron, so I can not worry about getting clothes, uh, getting resin and inks on my clothes now. I have a friend who does sewing crafts and I saw her at my last art show and we did a little trade deal. She came into my booth and bought some wine glasses and then I went to her booth and found this cute apron. And I know I probably um, could keep it nice and clean, but I needed an apron that I could not be afraid to get uh, get messy because I'm always in my craft room with, um, I think I'm going to put some on soon, but I'm always in my craft room, you know, just in between work breaks or right after work. And I may be in, you know, fairly decent clothes, but I don't want to change my clothes every single time I want to just fiddle in my in my art studio. So I wanted uh, a durable um, durable apron that I could just slip on. So I got one from her. Alright, I, oh, I think it really, I'm going to put some heat on it and see what we end up with. I know that gold is going to really take over but I did that on purpose and I'll show you why. this a few times and then I got a couple of little drips this just pulls the resin down and around and just forms really cool bands. I don't know if you can see it moving, but it's just kind of cool. And it breaks up the gold. But I just like, I like having a lot of gold on these. It's just, it's a really neat effect. Um, it's just really cool. All right, so I'm gonna let those turn. Let me flip this one around. So it's not exactly like the stemmed, but I think she will really like them. Oh, they've got some really cool little swirlies and hurricanes in there. So I'm gonna put my caps back on. And I can't remember if she wanted a sea turtle or if she wanted a little um, charm. So I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna put charms on these right now. All right, so we're gonna let that turn. Have to. Well, let's look at these real quick. These, this. No, let's look at these real quick. What? So this is my mom, and she's gonna help me take these off of the. Oh my of the Turner. These oh, are all finished. Do you like them? Mm -hmm. Look. Oh, yeah. And Do you yeah, like them? Yeah, yeah. Isn't yeah. it pretty? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Do yeah. you like it? Yeah. Do you like but this here, one? Here, it, uh, it's okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Do you like I, this one, too? Yeah, yeah. Isn't yeah. it pretty? Yes. Do you like it? Yeah. Even the bottom is pretty. Yeah. Missed a spot but there. Well, let's take these off. Eddie. Well, let's take um, these off. I have to go. Yeah, we're going to go in just a minute. Uh, Look at these. For, for, my, for my father. Yeah. Uh, 
I think he is at home okay. too. See how pretty these oh, are? Yeah. Oh yeah, Tom. Oh yeah. yeah. You can you can sell this. I can sell it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, yeah. come here. One more. We have one more. Okay, Tom. Okay. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. we're gonna have to we're gonna sit right here, we're gonna look at the camera oh, yeah, right yeah. there oh, and yeah. say say help me say bye everyone. Bye everyone. <laughs> because I love you. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh I have to go. I am really pleased with how these turned out. I love this little swirl there. These turned out really nice. She's she's gonna like these. A little too much gold on these, but they'll work. I'll put them in my booth. This is what I mean by the the top. Um, the edge is not all the way up to the the resin is not all the way up to the edge of the glass but it's also not a straight line either it just kind of it has a natural a natural edge okay like a wave and that's what i like always pay attention to your bottoms it's a little thick there but it's not terribly unlevel i have to sand that down now yeah, another successful project Hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. Bye.